Okay, we've got Keith, Keith Tittman making, making his way to the inside now. Keith obviously a Liverpool lad. He's had three fights. He hasn't won a fight yet. Open tonight's going to be the night for him. Obviously lost all three of his fights. 86k. Keith's a bit of a pressure fighter. He's age 38. And his big inspiration in the sport is Floyd Mayweather. Great walkout song as well. Uh, boss too. Do you want to recognise Chris? Yeah, I like that one myself. Okay, and his opponent, Reese Williams, he's 20 years old, weighed in at 85 key. Uh, the fight in the unlicensed, he's one on one in white collar, so this is his first uh, unlicensed. Uh, his win was by points and his loss was by points as well. He's fighting out the jab gym. And he's a big fan of the sign of my kid. Is he, yeah? Big Tyson fan. We've had a few Tyson fans tonight, but I think everybody's a Tyson it fan. Isn't, it isn't. Yeah. So Making it, it clear where his uh, loyalties lie as well with the chat boxing t shirt on. Yeah, it certainly is. It's interesting to see they both pick the same walkout tune, was that like? <laughs> or both pick the same band. The same band, yeah. He looks Nothing worse cool. than Axel Rose getting cut short. <laughs> These two guys both look really up for this fight. I see uh, Dave Kenny and Joey are still in the corners. They've been getting worked hard tonight. We've got 18 year uh, age gap here. Don't want to concentrate too much on age tonight. Obviously, I have been mentioning it through the night. As of you, Chris. 18 years. It can come into it um, in you know in in uh, anything over a six round bite. I think over these uh, three round bouts, I think it'll be um, hopefully it won't show too much. Reese getting the jab off there first. Good head move from Keith though, and, and he's yeah, in there. Real, real, punches. real old style. Drop quite low. Nice uppercut and a nice left hook there. He's really. He, you, I think you were right with the pressure fight thing. He's really putting it on. Reese is uh, covered up well though and taken that and he's clinched up nicely. He's given Reese lit literally no breathing, breathing space whatsoever. No, it looks like he's coming straight back on it again. Ha high guard as well. Yeah, yeah, high guard and then he likes to flow that left up. That's quite obvious. Nice movement though by Reese. Yeah, I don't think he's going to try and get into the clinch game with it. A lovely counter jab there. Good use of the left hand. Overstretched slightly on the right hand. But um, nice little combination. Both looks like they're feeling out process, they both felt a bit of power and it's slowed down a little bit. Keith needs to be timing them jabs as they're coming in, trying yeah. to slip inside the jab, trying to slip outside the jab, land them body and head. Reese is uh, trying to use some footwork there. And to uh, some, some you know some good effect as well. That wasn't you know, he moved off moved around the ring nicely though. Reese is looking there to obviously keep the bout at range. Definitely, as soon as he tried to clinch, then he pushed him away and used his jab straight away. It was a nice move, actually. Keith, like you say, pressure, nice left left of the body there. One of my favourite shots. Not on a toe, no. But Reese uh, Reese took it well. Don't want to be asking for too much, but he needs to really try and tuck that left up, left up the body in behind the elbow. Yeah. At least aim for it. Keith going back to give him give Reese no, no space whatsoever. These guys have thrown quite a lot of punches as well, haven't they? That was a pretty active round. Your thoughts on that one, Scotty? Who do you think is taking the first? Um, it, it, it all depends. I mean, if, you, if you're going to go for work rate, if you're going to go for pressure, you've got you've got a size of Keith. Um, I thought um, throughout the, throughout the night, so, you know, I've sort of been impressed by. Uh, pe people uh, sticking with the boxing skills, sticking with what they're being taught at jab boxing. Yeah, I think at, you're very at, at these gyms. Very right to say that. I, I did quite like the uh, the use of the jab by Reese though as well, and he, he did cover nicely when he was getting pressured. So we don't think he took hardly any damage 
Um, but those, those those power and pressure shots can add up. Certainly has, yes, yeah. Both guys look quite fresh in the corner. Neither of them using the stools again. Yeah, no, Reese, Reese listening hard to Joey there. I mentioned earlier before, Joey, Joey had experience with Princess Royal, but also Long Lane as well. Long Lane ABC. Yeah, both Liverpool, good, good Liverpool gym. Very, very experienced cornerman, both of them. Reese looking to get that jab going again, popping in and out. Yeah, Reese movement's ac excellent. Yeah, he's, he's, he's really impressive. Keeps coming forward with his head a bit too far forward, but he's game. He's a bit too far over the front foot, isn't he? His, his weight's there. Someone's gum shield's gone. I'm not quite sure who that is. And he'll stop the fight here. Yeah, it looks like Reese's. As, as mentioned before, Chris, it's all about the boxer's safety. Definitely, definitely, yes. You know, we've got excellent medical staff, doctor on board. The referee's very experienced. Um, it, shows, it, shows a credit, it shows an absolute credit to boxing. Both guys ready to go again. Reese lights on his feet, bouncing around, looking to work that jab again. Keith obviously wants to be in the pocket. Oh. Big right hook from there, over and right. Nice right hook. Keith needs to keep them hands nice and tight. He doesn't seem faced doesn't by seem Reese's jab though. At all by no. that though. But like I say, the guy is scoring points with it all the time. Keith's got one mindset. Close resistance. Let but, the shots go. Yeah, that's the one. It's a nice through a nice straight right then. But he's, he's countered with a nice jab cross on the third shot as well. I always like to use the jab on my way out as well. Oh yeah, back on your line. Yeah, definitely. Line. Going for the body there. But it, it, I mean, it's nice that anyway, that jab right cross, and then stepping in with that second Stop jab. Stop back, yeah, so it's always, no you know. No one expects that. No, it's, well, it's it's one of the most basic moves, but yeah, people get caught with it all the time. Well, you know, you, you want to left up, want to left up the body, but one, two, and then follow him with the jab. Keeps you nice and straight, keeps your hands tight. Yeah, safe. definitely, definitely. It gets your lines right when you're moving in and out. Bit of head moving from there from both both guys, but to, to be fair, they've both got pretty good gas tanks on them. They've uh, they've thrown a lot of punches and there's been a lot of work. It's a dispute as they've not stood off each other at all. Reese trying to let the combos it, go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, very, oh, the, nice left, lovely body shot. solid left, solid left up to the body. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That the, those do add up, especially if you. The variety if though, variety from Reese is good. Another action-packed second, uh, second round there. Great stuff. Go for that being Reese's rounds. I'd say so, yeah. I'd say so. You could make a shout there for one round apiece. But based on what he's got. Based on his attributes. I get, get on Reese's chest as quickly as possible. Yeah, I think he's going to have to pressure Weird to win this last round. This, this last round is definitely going to decide the fight. He's going to have to uh, put a lot of pressure on him and push forward. Um, Reese looked like he was slightly fresher fighter at the end of that round, so it'll be interesting to see who, uh, who takes control in this one. He's listening hard to Joe, uh, to Joe there. To be fair, seems to be taking everything in. To All be fighters fair, have throughout. Yeah, yeah, the they, they've, they've uh, you know, the like I said, the corner moving a credit to the show. Um, I think, I think, I think both these guys, though, the pace they've kept up this this yeah. third round, they keep it up is well, a bit more belter. You know, you look, you're looking, you're looking in the ring now. You've got British ex British uh, Commonwealth champion and Andy Oligan. Title challenger to, to Julio Cesar Chavez. Yeah, and his, and his own backyard. Joe Naylor, well. great, great coach, Dave Penny. Yeah, yeah it's fantastic, fantastic stuff. Jab really, you know, really, really set the standard out with this show, and uh, they're going to be moving forward, looking at big things. Back to the action, these two guys really getting stuck into each other now. From our position, we can hear the you know, power of some of these shots landing, some great thuds. Keeps the same in there. Really yeah, he same. really is. But Reese isn't backing it's up. You know, he, he's, not, he's not giving him an inch. These are the two tough guys. But the main thing is, like every other bout throughout the night, they've been competitive bouts. Yeah, they've been very well matched. And um, there's been there's been no sort of, no easy fights whatsoever. Nice bit of jab as he caught him in the corner. Keith's trying to push him into that corner. Like to see, like to see him working there. Like yeah. to say, get, clinch work's so important. So important. Oh, he turned him lovely there for a nice combination. Up the yeah, lovely. Great stuff from Reese. Keith is starting to look slightly slightly tired, I think. 
Reese being the younger guy yeah. has definitely got a bit more of a gas tank if he steps it up he, he could put a bit of show, a mark show, show him good boxing ability yeah he, all the guys tonight have tried to box they've not just tried to stand there you know, and brawl and windmill they've tried to box Reese's footwork's pretty good actually he is uh, you know he's circling both ways he, you know he's not continually going uh, to his left which a lot of people do and he's trying to I put mean, his combinations Reece, together Reese mentioned he was a Mike Tyson fan I'd say he was more of an Ali fan. Yeah, he's or close, closest to home. He's in terms of Liverpool, no Qualas fan. Yeah, no yeah, Qualas yeah, yeah. Fan. definitely on his back foot and likes to come back in. Move nicely, Keith. You know, Keith still game though. He's in there and he's throwing shots still. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Raging bull. Yeah. <laughs> if this was in black and white, you could see it. Imagine it being in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got the trunks for it. <laughs> Reese still still on his feet, still looking light. Oh, so that was a great bout. Excellent, excellent bout. Who do you lean towards on that one, Scotty? I've got, I've got, to, go, I've got to stick with the uh, the boxing ability. I've got, to, I've, got to, I've got to stick with Reese. I pretty much agree with you, actually. So we'll pass over to our uh, our MC, Marky P, and Andy Holligan to give the uh, referee's decision on this bout. And he seems to be content with his uh, decision there. Yeah, it looks like he's made his mind up on this. I mean, not, I think he's not had as deep in thought as he's been. In no, he's, he's had some very tough work, hasn't he? Um, you know, to separate some of these guys. But uh, he seems to know where, what he wants on this one. Uh, again, uh, I, well, actually, I love seeing that. Yeah, two guys. You know, they've just fought the hearts out with each other. Go over, and that's the sort of. Um, that's what boxing's all about. Yeah, it's what it's all about. Yeah, definitely friendly spirit. Great competitors, the pair of them. He seemed resigned to that. He seemed to know that um, that Reese had won. Uh -huh. Great show sportsmanship. Yeah. These two lads uh, shaking hands. Well, it looks unusual. Like keep keep us a little weird here with the uh, spectators. As long as he doesn't pro uh, propose to you, then I'm okay. Goes on, I'm outside the I, I didn't catch what he said to be honest, Chris. But I couldn't quite catch that myself with the uh, with the headphones on. Another great bout. 